Happy Sunday everyone, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. As usual in these videos, I will give you a top down analysis and the best market structure trade ideas to look at for the upcoming week. So while I roll the interim disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. And welcome back guys, um, just a little announcement to all of you that been in the thinking to join my trading course, the registration is now open. I still have eight seats left and all you need to do is go to www.pa-fx.com and um, you will find all the information you need over there. So um, yeah, once again, for all of you been in the uh, thinking process to uh, make something about your trading and take your trading to the next level you are welcome to do so now so yeah let's take a look at the disclaimer first and um, yeah what I wanted to do is to read the disclaimer and be aware of the risk involved in trading and that this session is not a signal in any way so please consider that we will start with uh, the usual chart Always, we start with the Dixie to see what the dollar is doing overall, and uh, we are on the weekly time frame here. We still see that uh, the Dixie is in some kind of consolidation here uh, in this range uh, between the um, 95 20 area up to um, up toward 97 uh, 75. And uh, we still, uh, nothing has changed since uh, we uh, broke above this level and trading in this area. So still consolidation for the Dixie. Um, and on the daily, you see that we, um, we had a very strong push here to make a, a new high to then go back to retest this high. My uh, expectation was uh, the retest to happen and maybe a continuation. We didn't get that. Uh, what happened last week that we uh, halted uh, down here like for three days or so after the, the stronger push to the downside here and uh, we've been uh, trading around this area for a while so um, no real momentum last week for the bulls for the continuation and um, yeah with that happening and we holding uh, near this support level one could um, start being a little bit worried for uh, worried for more uh, downside there is uh, more room uh, for the correction so do not um, uh, expect uh, things to keep pushing uh, in one direction so um, in my opinion if we break below uh, the close of these daily candles here uh, there is a possibility that the Dixie uh, may give us a deeper correction maybe towards 618 or um, around the um, daily 200 moving average as well in any case we are in a, a sideways market as I said and um, there is all the possibilities also that we may test all the way back down here um, so um, i'm not um, saying that uh, the dollar will collapse totally but um, it is a range and when such a condition happen one could expect um, the continuation of this range to happen until we break out of it the major boundaries of this range are of course um, up here we want to see a close above this high or if we break below these lows down here then we are uh, really pushing back down toward the yearly pivot point but since we're talking only about next week keep an eye on this area here we had this uh, head and shoulder on the four hour going on here on the dixie something like this so uh, we broke the neckline and uh, we held this range for a couple uh, maybe three days as well um, this is uh, the this micro range here is very important uh, for the short term trading any break below um, this uh, box here that will open the door for a deeper correction to the downside 
or if we get a break and close uh, not as happened last week on the four hour it was just a spike we want to see a break and close above these highs if that happened then we may um, make another push uh, higher to maybe test the right shoulder or or even higher so uh, pretty easy uh, approach here keep an eye on this box if broken then we follow that direction um, gold uh, let's go to the weekly on this one you see that gold did a very nice uh, push to the upside um, my expectation was the market objective was to reach the uh, 30, uh, 1360 up here but uh, the first uh, touch of this area here around the bodies of these uh, previous uh, weekly candles here uh, as you see was a, a rejection we ended up with a uh, weekly inverted hammer here um, we had such a scenarios before we had an inverted hammer here uh, and despite that the market kept pushing higher so do not jump on this as a total reversal already uh, but um, the size of this uh, this candle here is uh, much bigger than what happened here so could be a real rejection as well um, it would be a little bit boring for me because I like to see the market reaching all the way to the highs maybe trade a little bit above it before the reversal so uh, was did they dump already the longs did they uh, get paid already at this level before reaching uh, the ultimate high or there was some uh, front running for the cells that is uh, also a scenario let's not forget that now gold on the weekly is at the overbought uh, condition on the weekly time frame uh, on the daily time frame uh, also at the overbought and start making uh, triple top uh, divergence here from this high to uh, this high here we starting having that divergence already when we reach it one two three highs and um, yeah it is a clear um, bearish divergence on the rsi but still structure wise we still have higher highs and higher lows there is no need to go against such a market um, my opinion is still um, the best way would be if we see gold uh, reaching all the way toward uh, 1360 uh, area taking out these highs a little bit before that rejection um, <clears throat> yet as for now it is a still bullish market the question um, are we willing to buy uh, at such a high um, I would not say that uh, this is a good idea to go for um, longer term trades there is uh, possibly short term trades to happen here but this uh, this rejection is uh, pretty uh, strong here uh, it was a pretty long time we never saw such a bearish candles happening uh, previously on this move to the upside so um, why I'm watching right now is what will happen when uh, gold goes uh, if gold uh, goes back and test monthly R1 up here if we're gonna see another rejection yeah maybe some kind of uh, 618 correction um, to reach this structure here uh, that is uh, pretty interesting to see if we're gonna get another rejection and another lower high if that happened then there is a possibility for short term trades maybe back back down here to retest this uh, structure uh, near uh, the weekly s1 uh, and this uh, trend line yeah as far as this trend line is not broken this still sh uh, should be uh, bullish we have the 200 moving average on the four hour as well at this uh, area so um, a counter trend trade this would be absolutely but uh, it is an interesting area monthly r1 i like those levels when reach it and um, 618 previous structure here and uh, the momentum to the downside here was uh, pretty strong um well we've had a week and now in between so um i i don't know if we got some news uh, during the weekend changing this sentiment but keep an eye on this structure could give you a short term uh, bounce back down with a lower high um, you need to have some kind of good trigger on this level if that happened um, again 
bullish market as far as this trend line is still holding we, sh we should keep looking for buys toward uh, the monthly r2 and uh, for a longer term uh, correction to the downside i want to see this trend line broken yeah to then start looking for a deeper correction since we've been at the overbought for a for a while now okay um oil also still um, pretty strong and bullish uh, here is uh, the weekly time frame uh, what happened was after this drop to the downside now we start having higher highs and higher low uh, this high broke above previous structure we have another higher low above the 200 weekly moving average and uh, still looking strong there is not much on the way between um, the price here and uh, the structure levels up here so uh, my anticipation is uh, that we may keep pushing higher toward uh, 62 area and uh, monthly R2 there is a possibility to reach back these highs coming from this level this level here was resistance and here start acting as uh, some kind of uh, a little bit of support so um, continuation to the upside is my um, view on oil um, the best way would be if we get some kind of correction back down toward um, this level around the yearly pivot point before the next leg to the upside uh, on the four hour time frame i think with we see that much uh, better so uh, this uh, minor trend line is still holding support we start having some kind of uh, bearish divergence on the rsi for the four hours so um, if this uh, correction happened uh, and we break below this trend line then uh, keep an eye around uh, the yearly pivot point here for a possible uh, continuation from uh, this area around the uh, 55 level is a good level to look for a buy now uh, if that correction to happen um, otherwise it would be <clears throat> the continuation of this trend line if uh, on the retest uh, once again we get a bounce <clears throat> that could be a possible continuation area but i don't really like it i like to buy it a little bit uh, deeper to the downside that would give you give us a nice uh, correction back down to this broken structure to then continue to the upside <clears throat> UUSD pretty boring continue um, being inside this uh, range uh, here and uh, this range still seems like the euro is on hold until everything else in place so I want to show you one thing only and that is how the correlation between the euro and gold being doing uh, so far so as you see here um, when the euro broke below this uh, structure here uh, this uh, consolidation on the euro uh, in this area was uh, almost the same consolidation as we had on gold so there was still correlation going on but then euro broke and gold didn't uh, gold broke below the structure here uh, way after euro was all the way down here so when the euro was at this level on the weekly time frame we've got this break to the downside then gold kept pushing lower and lower until this level here and start going to the upside while euro did another push and then halted inside this uh, lower range during this whole push to the upside on gold the euro was still um, inside this range so there was some revaluation going on in this market and this the question is what will happen now if gold really reach this level and start correcting to the downside that could mean that we may see the, the euro continuing to the downside as well so if euro breaks below this structure here and start moving lower again then gold now have uh, pretty nice room to move back down to the downside without losing much of its value anyway since gold been moving to the upside all the way here while the euro USD was stuck inside this range so yeah pretty interesting uh, things happening here as you see on gold we are at the overbought on the weekly and on the euro we're still um, inside uh, below the 50 here on the rsi 
so uh, when such a thing start happening uh, it make me start uh, wondering what's going on and in my opinion could be a revaluation right now so all in all euro pretty boring still inside this range nothing will change until we break out of this um, range down here um, last week we had a nice push higher but we could not break uh, and have a daily close above this uh, controllable candle here so we need to see a break and close above this structure where we had the r the weekly r1 from last week for the euro if it is really gonna do another um, push to the upside to maybe make that deeper correction uh, to the downside we're still uh, watching this previous low as uh, the level to be broken because on this structure we have a lower high we have a lower low and the scenario was to look for a deeper correction and continuation even though this is a sideways market as for now we do have one lower high and one lower low which could be a sequence for a continuation to the downside but yet again nothing will change until we break below these uh, this last line of defense this is what i want to see uh, broken on the USD for more downside otherwise we still could uh, make some um, move back to the upside we're still below the 200 moving average on the daily so longer term the move could still be considered bearish um, on the four hour what we uh, what we have right now we have, we spend it more than half of last week going uh, trading inside this box as you see there is no real momentum after this uh, inverted head and shoulder there was no real momentum for that continuation to to say that we may get that uh, 618 correction so as for now keep playing this box uh, i think as soon as this box is broken if it breaks to the downside then we're gonna retest the lows or if it breaks to the upside then we're gonna make that deeper correction uh, maybe toward the 618 or the monthly pivot before the next leg to the downside okay so um, keep an eye on that gold as well because uh, gold is at a really interesting level while the euro is on hold and uh, waiting uh, sterling usd also still uh, looking uh, pretty um, pretty good last week after this uh, on the weekly time frame here we had this very strong push higher retest and now last week um, strong weekly uh, candle could consider um, after this candle a possible continuation to test previous highs do not forget that uh, we getting a pretty uh, uh, heavy uh, brexit headlines uh, week next week and uh, another vote on amendment and stuff like that in the uh, parliament uh, technically we have uh, broken and retested the 200 moving average we are trading back above the 1.3 uh, 300 here which is a uh, pretty interesting uh, support and resistance level so we're holding above that and uh, yeah my um, my view here is now after uh, breaking like this higher low higher highs another higher low and uh, the question if we're gonna get this continuation for that to happen we want to see a uh, break above the previous structure here so uh, we need to keep an eye on this structure this is our uh, resistance here this is our support a break above this would consider a, another push to the upside um, down here is our support if that broken to the downside then we make uh, may make a, a deeper correction but <clears throat> the look of it and the momentum of the bullish candle is uh, telling me that we may break uh, or we may be looking for the break to the upside to to take the long um, once again okay but keep an eye on this down here if retested uh, this is this has been a strong uh, support level uh, last friday we saw a very nice dip to that to then push higher once again and on the one hour time frame we see that this structure here is now uh, reclaimed and uh, that could be your support level to look for a bounce from on lower time frames <clears throat> usually 
still um, still inside that uh, channel we're gonna go to that on the lower time frame but on the weekly nothing new has happened we still have uh, the 110 as support and 111 as resistance daily time frame um, been uh, slightly to the upside but nothing really happening inside this uh, little range and uh, on the four hour and the one hour we had this um, some kind of channel here uh, and uh, really no no strong momentum for the bulls uh, last week we uh, broke out of this channel and um, my anticipation is uh, that we may go down toward that 110 to test that level before we get uh, the next bounce to the upside on this market so uh, still nothing new here 110 uh, is our uh, support 111 and the monthly r1 up here is our resistance nothing would change until we break out of that um, usd cad pretty interesting as well we've got another um, confirmed lower high lower than this one here and um, last week was a pretty strong bearish uh, candle evening star formation happening at the monthly pivot point uh, that for the weekly on the daily we see that uh, very strong uh, candle on the daily bearish engulfing after breaking the neckline here a retest and a continuation we just broke below the 200 moving average on this market and uh, since oil uh, keep pushing higher than this market may keep pushing lower as well and probably uh, breaks uh, this uh, channel who knows yeah but um, even on the four hour time frame we see that um, uh, break retest and continuation uh, happening uh, if you're holding a short keep an eye on this uh, structure level where we have the uh, previous low and the trend uh, the uh, bottom of the channel i would say uh, so it is still uh, sell rallies market um, on uh, USD CAD. Any retest higher to try to sell it once again. This is minor support. If broken, that will open the door for uh, more downside on this market. Best viewed on the daily time frame. I'm talking about this level that happened to be at the bottom of the channel as well. So if this low here got broken, that will open the door for uh, much more downside on uh, USD CAD. <coughs> Aussie USD, also let's go to the weekly on that one. You see that uh, it was an indecision candle uh, for the weekly, bounce up, bounce lower to then uh, give us some kind of doji, still no. Uh, clear uh, direction here on this uh, market the overall trend is still uh, bearish of course but we still have uh, this area here is a uh, pretty uh, strong uh, support level the body of this um, candle here and this candle here is the uh, clear support on this market so on the daily time frame I still think that this area down here may act as a last line of defense on this market if broken then that will open the door for much more uh, downside as for now i think the four hour is the time frame to uh, play until we leave this uh, range um, we have um, a break below this structure to then hold as this support so um, I would say keep playing the lower time frame on this market. Um, this is our support. This up here first here and then the last line of resistance is up here is um, the area to look for uh, next week. Uh, nothing will change until we either break below this low or break above uh, this high on uh, this market. Keep an eye on that. Uh, trade war talks um, any good news about it is good for the Aussie USD chief uh, nice trade uh, those of you who watched uh, the weekly overview we've done it live last week I said a break then to look for retest and continuation we've got nice trade here um, as you see it clearly lower lows and lower highs uh, on the daily uh, we tested a uh, clear resistance level up here 
and uh, we broke this uh, trend line to then sit back on this uh, support nothing will change here until we break this support if that happened if the support level uh, breaks then there is a possibility to move lower toward the 200 moving average and this previous uh, structure of support here so still looking um, possible that we get a break below here uh, the market is sitting as that support right now so um, until um, until this uh, broken there is uh, no sell here right now because this could act as support and you get another bounce higher from uh, from this level if that happened keep an eye on this monthly r1 as a possible resistance level because we left that area pretty strongly when tested the, the previous time so uh, this still could act as a resistance but really for more downside if you're still holding the short here if you did not take all profit you need to see this previous low broken first uh, New Zealand USD also let's go to the weekly on that one as well um, still uh, inside this uh, range on the weekly nothing uh, will change until we break out of it so as for now we could keep playing uh, the range uh, here we are in mid range right now so uh, the levels to keep an eye at is up here for next week and this as your support so you need to keep playing those levels until we have a break out of it the market did not really uh, give us um, any continuation yet we're still uh, ranging here and that is uh, what we should be playing until uh, the market behavior change which means until the market start really trending as for now um, we have a higher high then to get a lower low another <laughs> lower high to then get a higher high and so on so it is a ranging market and you should play by those rules we have right now until we see a breakout if we break above this then there is a possibility for continuation to the upside if we break below this then there is a possibility for continuation to the downside uh, <clears throat> New Zealand CAD same scenario we are uh, inside uh, this range and uh, same here nothing will change until we break out of it you see it here on the weekly what kind of uh, range we have we have this range here we're trading inside so uh, the boundaries of the range are clear on the daily when we look at it uh, at the daily time frame we see that uh, right now we are trading in this uh, lower range here so i'm talking about this area and uh, yeah we are near the bottom of this range so uh, the key levels to look at is down here if this gonna hold once again to give us a bounce or a break below that will open the door for uh, the best trade uh, this week i think if the break below this uh, clear uh, structure here happen uh, but as for now it is not a um, broken structure so as for now it is still a uh, consolidation behavior or ranging market so sell high buy low until the breakout happen and uh, that is what going on on many market on in the forex market right now a pretty boring uh, trading uh, some of them making some kind of uh, trend but uh, most of them are going sideways uh, another good one that is trending is actually um, Aussie cat with lower lows and lower highs still so this one is clear in uh, a bearish move right now uh, and uh, I still think that this may fill this uh, wick down here but as first keep an eye on this uh, low here as a possible uh, support we broke on the daily below previous structure so on this market we should only be looking to sell uh, rallies here i mentioned this in our trading uh, room to look for a retest and continuation um, and uh, that is still the case keep an eye on the monthly s1 down here we need to see this broken that will open the door for more uh, downside on this market so sell rallies and um, short-term trades would be uh, a, maybe a bounce from this level 
or keep an eye on this structure here for another retest and continuation yeah as far as we are below this uh, trend line below the 200 moving average on the four hour this should be sell rallies market Aussie Jappy, same um, as I said last week, I told you guys this is a ranging market, sell the highs. We've got a pretty nice retest almost to the fifth, the previous high before we've got uh, the strong bounce to the downside. And it is still the same scenario here. Buy the lows down here, sell the highs up here. There is a possible uh, continuation now after this strong push to the downside to uh, to sell um, this area uh, I had this trade idea in our trading room so the question is if we're gonna get another leg down here from this uh, retest I really don't like to trade mid-range but um, this could give um, a possible continuation to the downside uh, Euro Aussie <laughs> the expectation was that we broke above previous neckline to look for a retest to the neckline and continuation we didn't get any uh, bullish evidence here it was a strong uh, bearish move on friday there was still no signals but still this down here could act as good support if you got any uh, nice bullish evidence at this level there is a possibility to uh, push higher from that area but the real uh, resistance is still up here and the major support is still down here on this market uh, also a, a ranging market so you need to have um, no big expectations on um, on your take profit same for your new zealand we broke above the neckline of the inverted head and shoulder uh, we were looking for retest and continuation but as you see no signals at all here the beers were was in total control uh, the whole uh, friday and um, if we look at it on the daily time frame it seems like this could be another correction and continuation yeah after breaking uh, previous lows here uh, still the trend line is intact so um, we maybe could see a um, continuation on this market to the downside but uh, it need to break below this structure level um, levels to look at is if we get another retest toward uh, the 200 moving average on the four hour and this structure here to look for another push lower now since the daily seems to be uh, still intact for a continuation to the downside uh, euro sterling also uh, bearish uh, pretty interesting chart on the weekly we gonna test the last line of uh, defense on this market and that is uh, like down here as you see um, this candle here broke previous low but did not break uh, below uh, this low down here and uh, we've got another lower high on the weekly after a bounce retest of the monthly pivot point almost 50 percent of this move um, but there is a shooting star formation on that and then uh, a continuation and we are on the weekly on the daily we break we did a retest and uh, there is a continuation here if you're holding a short keep that short until we reach this last line of defense where we may get at least a short term bounce from uh, this level so uh, if we go down to the four hour we see it clearly here we broke the range uh, the idea was in the trading room look for retest and continuation here we got the retest clearly toward uh, this uh, structure and boom a possible continuation here so again if you're holding a short um, should take profit down here because this is where we have the weekly major support level here uh, and if that fail as support you see that this will give you a huge opportunity all the way down here toward monthly s2 and the 200 moving average on the on the weekly time frame so another great trade but we need to see a break below this structure that is the key support that we want to see broken down here 
<coughs> that will give you a great um, reward if that happens. Uh, Sterling Jappy also uh, after a strong push, a correction and continuation, struggling now at the 200 moving average uh, on the daily time frame. The look of it still possible for more continuation. What I didn't like about it that we didn't really have a strong break above this high. If that would happen something like this, we, we could say much easier look for retest and continuation. So. It is still not really broken since this high we have no close on the daily above it for our time frame uh, i think you could uh, keep following this uh, trend line here we want to see this uh, broken to the upside and if that happened that will open the door for um, for more uh, continuation to the upside so keep an eye on that uh, another good support level if this market to really break back below these lows and back below this structure is uh, once again the uh, 142.60 as a possible uh, support level yeah i would like to see the break above the trend line uh, actually before any break below this structure level that would be uh, showing strong momentum for the bulls and continuation First trouble gonna be at this previous high and if that broken then there is a clear um, continuation up here toward these highs looking left. <clears throat> USD Mexican reversed at us is still not ready and could continue lower after uh, what we have on the weekly time frame. We see that uh, this trend line one, two, three, four touches here on the weekly but still mm, there was no good momentum for the bulls we tried to get long i took uh, two positions long um, and took profit on those to then uh, lose um, one and take another one at break even so uh, after the retest on the daily 200 moving average we've got a strong bounce back down another attempt to try to go higher with uh, bulls failed to make new high here so it is uh, not looking good for the bulls and uh, right now i'm changing my uh, mind over this because i said we if we break above this we need to hold above it to do something like this and continue but we didn't hold above it we broke back below it yet again last week we tried and on friday we went back inside yet again so it's not looking good this head and shoulder uh, worked well here we broke below the neckline we tried to push above this key resistance and i said we need to see a break above this for more upside we didn't get the break and here there was no retest and continuation so there was no signal to buy uh, after that uh, break above and uh, the look of it right now it looks pretty pressured and um, yeah what i'm thinking here that we may get uh, another push down toward these lows if we um, manage to break uh, below this structure on uh, on the daily time frame uh, still no break below it but if that happened on the daily time frame i'm expecting this market now to uh, maybe push lower yeah because the bulls clearly not winning this fight so there is no need to keep uh, uh, stubborn and try to go long if the market is showing you something else this so uh, <clears throat> british engulfing here british engulfing here showing that the beers uh, still there beers still not done and more and more it looks like uh, some kind of uh, flag here after this uh, push lower and uh, maybe another leg to the downside is possible so um, the long idea is over now for me and uh, i may go short if i see evidence of that next week uh, USD Singapore uh, dollar we said uh, that we had a break on the weekly retest and uh, we looked for continuation from this level and I said if we gonna break above this level here then there is a possibility for continuation but that didn't happen on the retest 
there is still this uh, possible scenario of some kind of inverted head and shoulder here but the neckline is all the way up here for this to be confirmed so um, <clears throat> as for now still beers uh, seems to be in control we expected some trouble at this previous structure here uh, we've got a, we retested that but still no uh, no bulls in sign as you see here uh, no bulls in sight i would say um, and on the four hour time frame we broke this neckline we did a retest and another um, move lower so i'm looking at the lows here of the week this low of uh, last week is pretty um, important support if that broken then there is a possible continuation on this uh, market this would give us some trouble here on the way but if that broken there is more to the downside as for now it is at support level so um, this is support you're not selling at support because it could uh, bounce from this level we could keep ranging inside this area as well so uh, wait for uh, signals at this level either a break or a very strong uh, bounce from this level and for more upside if this really to reverse to the top of the range this is your key resistance level that you need to see broken so if you are bullish the dollar and you really want to go long you want to see this broken like this to then look for retest and maybe a continuation as for now beers still in control in this market um us uh, the dow us uh, 30 uh, still looking uh, in shape bulls are still in control we testing a pretty interesting level uh, the last time we tested this area here you see how strong we pushed back to the downside but we've tested this level a couple of times now still no real sign of the beers in this market the market still expecting good news from uh, the u.s china talks and that is uh, what uh, matters at the moment actually no one looking at the economics uh, any releases matter anymore it's all about the uh, trade talks. so on the weekly you see that we are about to test the last line here to then we have another high and then we are at the all-time highs yeah still weekly very strong to the upside no signs of beers and um, no matter how crazy it sounds uh, we the chart is showing us uh, bullish continuation so that what we should be looking for keep buying those dip those dips um, this support now is a key level so um, we may keep ranging here until we get any news from uh, China USA trade talks a break above this previous high that will um, signal another continuation move for the bulls so um, look for that any break above this or see this as your key support level to buy from a break below this that would give us uh, maybe a deeper correction yeah we still did not test this uh, broken structure here yet so that is also a possibility if that happened <coughs> that could be also the same level where we have this uh, trend line going on to look for a possible bounce from uh, if we break the trend line then we are talking about uh, a deeper correction but as for now as i said the the beer still not here yet uh, FTSE on the weekly time frame where is my weekly here we go um, on the weekly time frame we did break above this uh, key resistance level here at the, as you see uh, so last week was a bearish but this could also be a correction before a continuation to the upside on the daily you see that we we've lost momentum we see it clearly here um, we've done a higher high to then push two days to the downside the bulls could not continue here so this is a little bit worrying yeah because the bulls did not continue for another high here on the daily the day after bearish and friday was 
uh, also a bit um, it was a bullish day but uh, inverted hammer yeah so this is clearly losing momentum with some uh, divergence on the rsi so uh, the question is if this market gonna uh, give us some kind of correction back down toward the monthly r1 in these previous lows as uh, <clears throat> as far as this low here on the daily is still not broken we're still in a bullish move on this market so keep an eye on this structure this is the key low that we want to watch um, if not broken then still a uh, buy um, a level to buy from and the four hours show us really how we lost momentum after this high here failed to make new high and another lower high here so uh, this market is a bit weaker than uh, the uh, what the Dow is showing and could give you a deeper correction. The first trouble is around the monthly R1. The last line of defense is down here. Otherwise, we get a bounce or break and give us a deeper correction to really test uh, this neckline down here on the FTSE. And the DAX let's go to the weekly on that one as well you see that we testing the 200 weekly moving average here we do have some kind of inverted head and shoulder on the weekly as well uh, as you see we just broke above previous high which could be our neckline as well but we are going toward an interesting area on the monthly r1 you see this structure here support here uh, and uh, at uh, this previous resistance at the moment so it is looking um, as a possible reversal and uh, there is some trouble on the way um, the monthly r1 is the real um, resistance area that we could uh, see some uh, problem at maybe a bounce lower before any continuation yeah so um looking left you see why i think the monthly r1 is an interesting level support and resistance previously but this inverted head and shoulder and the weekly still looking nice in shape we have the 200 that uh, on the weekly here that may act as a troublemaker as well but for our we broke above this structure and uh, we continued higher so still looking at this as uh, your possible level of support any retest of this level could give you some bullish evidence and another bounce to uh, toward these highs up here a break below this could mean another push lower uh, could mean that we may keep uh, going sideways uh, in this um, in this area here yeah so uh, yeah that was uh, the last one i still have the copper here um, we have one trader uh, trading copper in our trading room and done a great trade here after the break and i think it is pretty interesting uh, chart so uh, since it is here let's uh, talk about this a little bit you see that we broke above the neckline here of this double bottom on the weekly but on the other hand RSI at the overbought and we are testing this uh, major support and resistance level so this market is at an action point right now a pretty strong push after the break here think many stop losses got taken out so it is an empty area and uh, since we're testing this uh, pretty important uh, support and resistance level it is an area to look uh, at on the daily we are at the overbought as well uh, it could give you some kind of push uh, back to the downside here um, so i'm looking for possible signals for uh, maybe a push back toward this uh, broken structure before another leg to the upside yeah so pretty interesting chart uh, so you could keep that um, chart um, and look at it and uh, see what will happen here at this level still we've got first reaction to then bullish reaction and another retest and continuation still no signs of uh, weakness here uh, despite uh, overbought and all that on the rsi there is still no signal here that uh, this area um, is our uh, possible um, counter trend sell level yeah 
so uh, yeah with this one that was the last market um, long video but um, yeah it is uh, good that you guys could see as many charts as possible and uh, choose what you want to trade from them so uh, happy trading and see you next week bye bye